and good afternoon everybody welcome here to our 24th race of the season it's going to be our exciting race weekend here live from gnc carnival stunt road can't wait for this two divisions of trucks two divisions of mobile two divisions of snickers six different winners how is that going to play out into maybe the wild card spot as far as the chase for the championships concerned i don't know but after tonight's race only two more stops and then the chase field is locked up so big opportunity for drivers here tonight to maybe win at this very very difficult motocross like racetrack Tonight we're getting ready for eight scheduled laps. Doesn't seem like much, but it does take a little bit of time for these drivers to get around this track. The track's just a little under a mile long, and so these drivers are going to be flying through the air. They're going to be taking high banked dirt turns, and these trucks, I've noticed in practice, don't have an awful lot of grip, so they're going to be on their toes every single lap. On the pole position for this first division race is going to be Pichu London, and he'll start off alongside of Charles Jackson. Both of these drivers coming in running pretty well in the point standings. Pichu London 15th, Charles Jackson 11th. Now keep in mind, you win this race, you get 47 points, 42 points for uh, finishing first, and then five extra bonus points. That could play out huge into where these guys are starting as far as track position. Kyle Corbett's going to start on the inside of row number two, and alongside of him will be William Duncan. Now, uh, out of the drivers inside the top five for the start of this race, only two of them have gone to victory lane so far this season. Charles Jackson, who's starting the outside of the front row, and Charles Samfer, who's starting off from the fifth position. But a big opportunity for both those drivers to maybe pick up their second win of the season. And who knows, they could have a wild card spot wrapped up if they're not able to move themselves inside the top ten in points. We got to also update, there are a lot of big name drivers that are battling for spots inside the top 10 in points, or that are actually currently inside the top 10 in points in this division. They include third in points, James McLeod, second in points, Dylan Young, first in points, Dylan Poti, fourth in points, Chris Dollerton. I'm looking to see, I don't think Brian James is in this field. Uh, Prudence Littlejohn is not in this field. I'm still looking through the list here because I want to make sure that I get all those big names of drivers that are running well in the point stands. Austin LaPlante, 10th in points. He's in this field. 9th in points, Jacob Lawler is also in this division. So those are drivers are going to be keeping an eye on during the course of today's race. Kind of interesting. First through fourth in points are in this race. Time to get these cars rolling off, though, or these trucks, I should say. We're getting ready for an exciting event here. No caution flags are going to be waving, so it's going to be green flag to the finish. Whoever survives, wins. Basically, that's the way this track is. It's a survival race coming down so close to the chase for the championship. So you know these drivers have to go as hard as they can because they don't want to wreck out of this thing. They roll off. Here's the starting grid for the first division race here of the Oreo Truck Series at Sun Road. tell you right now from experience these drivers are going to want to make their moves as early as possible because when drivers start slipping around start making contact start spinning out it's going to spread the field out pretty doggone quickly so here we go pace car is pulled on to pit road Pichu London Charles Jackson ready to get us underway Chris Dalton slides around back there we're not even getting green yet now the green flag is out and we're underway here today at stunt road jump to this TV angle because I love it when they go through this corner. Take a look at this. Almost like a dirt Daytona right there through that corner as Pichu London is going to take the lead. Charles Jackson now has lost a little bit of ground. He slipped back to second. Kyle Corbett battling him for that spot. Now I think Kyle just moved into second place. Yes, he did. Charles Samper there trying to get by William Duncan. That's for fourth as Kyle Corbett now tries to run down Pichu London. He got a good jump off that uh, little hump there. But he was not able to capitalize, get back in the throttle as soon as Pichu London. 
One thing about this track. Whoa, they're all piling up here. The leader just piled up there. Kyle Corbett, Charles Jackson. And look who moved up to him into fourth place. Is Jeremy Mayer as John Radig has now had problems. Side by side for the lead again. Nope, that time Kyle Corbett could not get back into the throttle again. And he and Jackson are going to make contact. They're into the wall. Jeremy Mayer is going to move up to second place now as well. Charles Jackson just spun into pit road. Charles Jackson just messed that corner up royally. Spun into the pit lane. Remember though, no caution flags. You know, I was actually looking through the, uh, mathematically through the points. As we're looking at the top three here who have definitely broken away. Pichu London and then two rookies, Jeremy Mayer and Kyle Corbett. But uh, Dylan Pote, Dylan Young, James McLeod, and Chris Dollerton all have opportunities today to lock themselves into the chase for the championship. Now, I think we can safely say James McLeod and Chris Dollerton with three wins apiece, they've basically already locked themselves in. But as far as end the top ten in points, not counting the wins, they do have an opportunity to lock themselves into the chase already this season with good runs today as Jeremy Mayer got into Pichu London who got into the wall and now new leader the 14 of Jeremy Mayer and look at this good battle back here for fourth as Pichu London tries to work his way back by Kyle Corbett now they're gonna spin around and now Kevin White and Chris Dalton that was the battle I was talking about there for fourth they're gonna come in on this battle look out oh Dalton messed up that turn but he's going to try to continue on. Here comes Dylan Poteet, the points leader. He's worked his way up. Oh, no. Chris Dollerton got the wall. The entrance to pit road, Chris Dollerton. And that may be it for Dollerton. And Danny Wells just got into it. Danny Wells now has damage. We're going to have to update drivers that are out of the race and everything. We don't jump back to replays. I think Alex DeMarco just got a piece of the wall there. And there's Dylan Young. I think he's on the tail end of the lead lap right now. Currently in the 21st position. He's about to fall a lap down to Jeremy Mayer, who is starting to close in on that 84. And wow, Dylan Young did not take that jump very well. He came to a complete stop. Now he's going to get the wall, and that's going to bring the leader right to him. Is Mayer going to be able to get by Dylan Young? Okay, oh boy. Dylan Young was able to continue, so Mayer's going to have no problems here, at least right now. And oh boy, oh well, they just messed up that turn, both Dylan Young and Jeremy Mayer. But here comes Mayer. Oh, he's going to try the crossover move on Dylan Young. And oh, they just... Oh, did they go down pit road? They did! They both just went down pit road! Jeremy Mayer's going to lose the lead because he's on the pit lane. And there goes the leader, the new leader. Kyle Corbett will go by in the 17. Let's update the drivers that are currently out of the race here. There may be a few of them. Dylan Young's a lap down, but Lyndon Wright's also a lap down, and so too is Cody Lamas. Chris Dollerton, I would think, would be out of the race pretty soon because he hit the entrance to pit road wall. As I said, we don't go back to replays here. we got to stay with live action because this is not exactly a terribly long race and so much action happens here, we don't have the time to be able to go back and look at replays. Kyle Corbett, though, he is the leader now. You got Derek Reed, or not Derek Reed, I'm thinking way back to the beginning. Whoa, look out, Kevin White, and he got through. Kevin White was able to get by the 17 of Kyle Corbett, who I think is actually stuck in the wall there. I don't think he's able to drive away. And someone else just hit the wall there. That was the 45, I believe, of Sanford. And no, no, Kevin White just got a piece of him. He's going to try and continue on here. We're watching for William Duncan. Here comes William Duncan. Oh, Duncan just nailed the Sanford machine. But Kevin White's going to remain the leader, I do believe. Yes, he is. Couple other drivers on pit road right now. I saw the 17. Oh my word! Alex DeMarco just came right out in front of Kevin White. Just got flipped over. Holy cow! Merging back onto the racetrack. Just got flipped over by the leader, Kevin White. And now that's going to open up the door for William Duncan to maybe start running down the 50. Good heavens. It's complete carnage here, which is what we were expecting as Duncan gets loose. But he got alongside the 50. And William Duncan is not going to go by. New leader, the 22. And I hear someone up ahead. Is that... Oh, that wasn't Dylan Young. That's Jacob Lawler, who apparently is on the tail end of the lead lap. He's currently in the 11th position right now as Lawler. Yeah, you know this is a carnage-filled race if I say he's in 11th and he's on the tail end of the lead lap. And oh, Kevin White got by William Duncan again. Kevin White goes back to the lead. But William Duncan, I think, doesn't have quite as much damage, and he's much more speedier. He's going to go back to the inside. And he'll go to lead. Oh, no, someone got the wall that time. It was Jacob Lawler got into the outside of the Well, William Duncan got into it, too. And Kevin White's going to sneak on by. Oh, wait, is Kevin White smoking? It looks like there's black smoke erupting from the 50. Oh, my goodness, that's the leader. Oh, Eric Burton just spun into the entrance of pit road. 
And is this a new second place car? I think John Radigan is up to second. Whoa, Eric Byrne, what in the world are you doing, boy? Holy cow, he just flew over the pit wall onto the racetrack again, but now he's stalled out. And he was in second position. What a tough break for Burton. There's DeMarco on pit road. Duncan's on pit road. Oh, and Kevin White just flipped his car over. The leader just flipped his car over. New leader is going to be the 24 of John Radigan as they continue to swap the lead around here and there and everywhere. And more drivers have gone back behind the wall. Oh, James McLeod has gone behind the wall. Dylan poti has gone behind the wall. 13th and 15th where they finished. Dylan Young's out in 17th. Dalton's out in 18th. Jackson out in 19th. All those drivers who came in running really well in points. They are out. Let's try and update the drivers that are still on the racetrack. John Radigan is currently the leader. Second, I think, is Pichu London. Whoa, Danny Wells riding the wall back there is, I think, Mayer is in third. Fourth was Danny Wells, but now Austin the Plan has just gone by him. He's taken fourth place. Who's fifth? Well, there's Dylan Young. He's actually still on the racetrack. He's a lap down, though. I think fifth might have been Bob Jones, sixth Kevin White, seventh Danny Wells, eighth Eric Burton, and Dylan Young may move up to ninth, but John Radigan is now the current leader with two to go. Big opportunity here for John Radigan and the 24 team as he rides the wall there. Oh no, oh no, oh no, he flips it! Oh, save it, land it, land it, land it! Oh, he can't land it, but Pichu, oh, he did land it! Radigan landed it, but Pichu London got by him for the lead. Radigan was able to save it. He continues on after he flipped it upside down in the air there off that first corner, but not before Pichu London got to his back bumper. So the pole sitter's gotten back to the lead. Doesn't look like a leading car by any stretch of the imagination. It's going to need some Geico insurance after this or something. But Pichu London is the current leader. And oh no, he just spun out. Is that going to allow the John Radigan machine to catch him? Well, Radigan still got a little bit of ground to make up here, and time is running out. Next time around, it will be the white flag. Can Pichu London pick up his first Truck Series win of the season? He started on the pole for the second straight week. Here today at Stunt Road, white flag is in the air for the Geico Toyota Tundra. Let's see if he makes it through this first corner okay. Hopefully, he's not going to derp it like John Radigan did. Let's see. Oh, he made it through very smoothly there. Did the 13 car, the 13 truck, I should say. Pichu London a huge advantage, then it's Radigan, there's Eric Burton, he's completed his service. Jeremy Mayer back here in third, Dylan Young's having trouble, he's still a lap down, he's being listed in 10th, but I think he's going to pick up a few spots after this. And there's another car that uh, is missing, oh that was the Danny Wells machine. Nobody on pit road, I don't think, no, there are only four cars left. First, second, third, that's London, Radigan, and Mayer, and then the lap car of Dylan Young, that's it. And there is no one in sight. Pichu London may have this thing all wrapped up. He's got a huge advantage. Oh, look out. Dylan Young got into the outside pit, or the pit wall there. He's wrecked. But London got through it. And London is going to win here tonight in the first heat race here at Stunt Road. He goes coast to coast at Stunt Road. He was not out front all day long. No doubt about that. He worked his way back up to the front. And he's going to win here tonight. His first Truck Series win of the season. And for the driver who comes in 15th in points, this is going to be huge for him as far as his attempts to get into the Oreo Truck Series chase for the championship. Waiting to see if the event is complete. And yes, it is. So we can give you your official results now as far as the top 10. Pichu London with the win. John Radigan second. Third place was Jeremy Mayer. They were the three drivers to successfully finish this eight-lap event. So great runs for all three of them. Kevin White almost held on, but he's going to finish in fourth. Eric Burton, who ended up flying off pit road out of the racetrack, he ended up finishing fifth. Sixth was William Duncan. Danny Wells, who we saw ride the outside wall in that banked dirt turn, he's going to get seventh. Austin the Plant's going to get 8, so this could keep him inside the top 10 in points. Bob Jones in ninth, and Dylan Young will complete the top 10. And they're telling me with Dylan Poteet, even though he finished in the 16th position, Dylan Poteet is going to be the first driver to mathematically confirm himself a spot in the top 10 in the point standings. Dylan Poteet will be in the Oreo Truck Series chase for the championship. Dylan Young was close, but he's not quite going to yet clinch himself a spot in the championship hunt yet.
but I think it's pretty likely next week he'll get that confirmation. As now we're going to end up finding out what Brian James will be able to do, along with Prunes Little John, Trent Dunham, Adam Chambers and company, in the Division 2 race. We'll see what they do, as opposed to how the Division 1 drivers did here tonight. But Pichu London is going to win this race, this carnage filled race. Boy, we got a lot more to come. Another division of trucks, then two divisions of mobile, and two divisions of Snickers. You've been watching Trucks Dance Array. Offline racing has best. Here comes your official official results. Overall points, and we're... Oh, actually, no. We don't give you the points yet. We give you the finishing results, but the points don't come until after the second division race. So, my bad there. Anyway, points will come up after the second division race. Hope you'll tune in for that. We will see you guys next time here. I'm out. Here they come off the final corner and oh what it was Johnson Adino the leader! Zidadino the pulse leader, there goes Madison Saber off! There goes Ralph Mason, second in points off! Oh my goodness!